Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here tonight, or this morning, I should say, good morning, and I'm here to show you today how to set up a shared folder between an installation running in VirtualBox, your guest OS, and your host OS. Now for demonstration purposes today, I'm on my Antics 13.2 stable desktop, and I'm running MX14 inside of VirtualBox. Now this is a scaled window because my monitor is a uh, low resolution so <clears throat> so the first step is to install the Linux get is install the VirtualBox guest editions inside the host OS so I'm going to blow the screen up here uh, there we go you see I gotta use the scroll bars on this particular monitor the guest editions are going to let you do a, uh, a couple of different things one is the shared folder that we're going to set up, and the other is I'm going to get better uh, scaling to fit my laptop on, on the on the video that's built into the virtual box. So we're going to go down here. We're going to select Insert Guest Edition CD. And actually, mine was already was already mounted, so I had to unmount one. Now, for whatever reason, MX opens up two Thunar windows whenever I insert the guest editions, but that's okay. <coughs> So I'm going to right click inside the window and I'm going to say open a terminal. And I'm going to go to super user. I'm going to go root. And then I'm going to run slash v box slash Linux editions. And this is going to install some kernel modules that will allow particularly the video to work better. That also will allow some neat tricks with uh, setting up the shared folder. There's also a shared clipboard. I have not tried this shared clipboard. Uh, I cannot report on that at this time. However, uh, the shared folder was working rather well. Now, while this is going on, I'm going to open up. That install take a minute. I'm going to open up my file browser on my host OS, and you see that I have created a shared folder, and I just, for simplicity's sake, called it shared folder. And I've got some project here files that we've been working on inside the folder for demonstration purposes. This will just take a moment. There we go, just about done. And then you really need to restart the host OS, the guest OS for this for the installation to finish uh, there's probably a cool guy way to just restart a bunch of services but you know what this is easier and it doesn't restart particularly slow in VirtualBox either I actually forgot a step, but that's okay. So you can see now my video is scaling out. The window is scaling out. It's going to fit inside the window rather nicely. Now to use a shared folder, you have to enable the VirtualBox shared folder um, virtual file. So, well, you don't have to enable it. It's there. It's under the hood since you installed the guest editions. But you need to add your user in the guest OS, in my case MX14, to the VBox shared folder group. So we're going to go to MX user manager. And this is going to be our root password. We're going to go over to group membership and we're going to choose our user. Now I've created a user in the inside the MX virtual box called Oracle. My default user on my Antics box is Dolphin, so I have two different users here. And we're going to scroll over here where it says VBox SF. That's Virtual Box Shared Folder. It's actually a virtual file system. We're going to check that. Click OK. Say yes. Change has been applied. OK. So now that we're in the group, we're going to shut down the the host because while I have 
the only I've I've got the sim the simple way to set up the shared folder is to set up an automatic automatically mounted folder. And the easiest way to set it up is to come down here to shared folders. And we're going to add a folder. The folder path, you select your path. I'm going to select shared folder. I'm going to set it to auto mount. Click OK. Reboot. Start up your virtual machine. Take a second to boot up the virtual machine. <coughs> if you heard my dogs earlier, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> she's a six-month-old boxer lab, and she's uh, well, she's she's definitely a puppy. She's just a giant puppy. So now, if we go into the file manager in the browser, the share should be in slash media slash sf shared folder and this is what it's going to do it's going to put the sf and an underscore in front of whatever the name of the folder is on the host operating system but if I open that up you can see that our project file is in fact there and any files that I choose to put in there will be available on both operating systems um, actually pretty well immediately I don't think I have anything really to to copy over on, on this system but you get the general idea. It does work. Uh, I'll show you what it does with the permissions. On my host operating system, these permissions are all Dolphin Dolphin, um, the owners rather. This says the, they're owned by root root, but it gives the VBox shared folder group read and write permissions. And don't worry, the original permissions are are preserved on the host operating system is just a little uh, trick of uh, with file masking so that's it that's setting up the shared folder on VirtualBox for tips tricks how to's head over to memphiscommunity.org slash mx or throw up a post at forum.memphiscommunity.org this is Dolphin Work I'll sign off have a great day